Here's a problem about a swing that is going about um, in a circular motion. I mean, the person and the contraption that they're sitting in are going about in a circular motion uh, due to the fact that this swing is held by a cable um, at some point and it's rotating and the tension in the cable along with the weight of the person and the contraption are balanced in such a way that this object is going on in a circular motion. We're given that the length of the cable is 15 meters and the angle that it's making is 60 degrees while it's rotating. And we're being asked to calculate the tension in the cable and the speed, the tangential speed, given that the person plus the contraption are 179 kilograms. So of course this is a circular motion problem, uniform circular motion problem. So I am thinking about the centripetal acceleration, the centripetal force and the relationship to the tangential speed. And really my biggest concern right now is to calculate, is to figure out what's responsible for the circular motion, what force is responsible, because that would be my centripetal force. And if I equate that to mv squared over r, then the, the v is the tangential speed, so I can calculate that, knowing the geometry of the problem is going to give me r, and knowing that I have the mass, then if I know what the centripetal force is, then I'm able to calculate the speed of the chair. And the tension, calculating the tension in the cable, I can just sort that out by thinking about a free body diagram and solving Newton's second law in the, the vertical direction. So here's um, what I'm thinking about when I'm thinking about free body diagrams. So I'm going to represent the object as a point. So I'm thinking about the person in the chair. And I'm going to take away all the environment and just leave the forces that are acting on it. And right now the force is, first of all, I have a gravitational force. And that's straight down. And that's equal to mg. And I, have, I don't have any surfaces, no friction, no normal force. The only thing that I have is a tension force. So this is the force due to tension in the cable. And I'm given that it's 60 degrees with the vertical. So that means that this is 60 degrees. And these are all the forces in the problem. So right away, I can tell that in the y direction, in the vertical direction, if this uh, contraption is in equilibrium. So if I write out the net force in the y direction, that is going to be equal to zero because it's in equilibrium in y. So in the y direction, I know that I have the tension cosine that angle 60. And in the opposite direction, I have the force due to gravity. And that is going to be in equilibrium and from that I can figure out that the tension is equal to mg over cosine 60 and if I put the numbers in 179 kilograms multiplied by acceleration due to gravity divided by cosine 60 that's going to be equal to so imagine this is about 180, 1800 divided by cosine 60. So I imagine that number is going to be bigger than 1800, maybe almost double 1800. And if you actually work it out, you find that it's going to be 3508 newtons. So that's the tension. Now to calculate the speed of the chair, I'm going to have to think about the centripetal acceleration and I'm going to solve Newton's second law in the radial direction so that's going to be the centripetal force is equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration 
which in turn is equal to the tangential speed squared over the radius. And you got to understand that you got to remember, of course, that this is the radius of the actual circular motion. So it's not this distance. It's actually the distance, the radius of the circular motion. So it's actually this is what we're calling what we're calling R from the center of the circle to the object on the circumference of the circle. So in the radial direction, Newton's second law looks like the centripetal force is equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration, which in turn is equal to the tangential speed squared over r. What is the centripetal force? What force is responsible for the circular motion? So in this case, the center is here horizontally. So I'm looking for forces that are along this direction. The net force along this direction is the centripetal force. So the net force along this direction is just the tension component that's along this direction. If this is 60 degrees, then the x component if you will, or the radial component of the tension is going to be the tension sine 60. And that represents my centripetal force. And there's no other force contributing to that centripetal force. And that I can just straight up equate with mv squared over r. Um, I pretty much know everything in here except for the velocity so I can calculate that. I know the mass, it's 179 kilograms. I know the radius, which is 15 meters sine 60. And I know the tension, I've just calculated that. Or I could also do this. I know the tension is mg over cosine 60. So I can just substitute that in here. It's equal to m v squared over r. The masses will cancel, and I'm left with v squared is equal to r g tan 60. So it's equal to 15 sine 60 times 9.8 times tan 60. And uh, if I take the square root of both sides, that will give me the tangential speed. And if you work it out, you find that it's... roughly 14.85 meters per second.